So game six in Florida, will the Panthers be able to close it out and go to the Stanley Cup Finals yet again? Or will the New York Rangers be able to extend this series to seven games? Before I get into the video, I appreciate if you guys subscribe, like, and comment. This video will not be monetized, so that type of support would be much appreciated. So let's get right into it. We start off in the first period. Bob would make a nice stop early on. And Forsling, this was a very good defensive stick on Sabinajad. And the Rangers kept up the good pressure. Bob would make a couple nice stops. Shesterkin would make a nice save on a Rodriguez shot Kachuk tip. And then going right back the other way, the New York Rangers to start out this first period looked pretty damn good but unfortunately Trocek would take a hooking penalty and that would make Shesterkin unlock god mode he would make a few nice saves on the penalty kill and Truba would contribute with a nice block shot then you would have Rodriguez come down in a dangerous scoring area and Shesterkin makes a very good stop he looked very good on the penalty kill but Florida Panthers movement was extremely good they might have not been able to convert but they did look good on the power play. Rangers going the other way. Bob would make a nice save on Kaku. And Chesterko would make a nice stop here on Verhage. Puck would go right back at him again. He keeps it out of the net. And the New York Rangers with a great opportunity here. Bob makes the initial stop. And Roslovic misses high and wide. You gotta bury those. And due to this pressure, Opozo would take a penalty, giving the New York Rangers a great opportunity to go up 1-0, but their struggles on the power play would continue. They really didn't get much going. Florida would clear it a couple times, and their power play just didn't look great. Little under five minutes left in the first. Barkov would make a great interception here. Lusto would make a good block. And then Lusto, he kind of started cooking towards the end of the game. Nice drive here. Good poke check by Shesterkin. Forsling would decide to let this puck rip right into the breadbasket. And this was kind of a funny moment. What's this guy behind us? <laughs> he likes the interview more than you do. Anyway, it's... Kid behind Laviolette during interview. Sun's out, guns out. Gotta love that. And Lusterinen would have a great chance here, but would not be able to convert against the Rangers. But with under a minute left in the first, this was a fantastic entry great passing here and Bennett just rips it with a perfect shot we go into the first intermission with the Panthers having a one nothing lead so the Florida Panthers start out the second period pretty strong Shesterk would make a nice save here on Rodriguez another good stop on Forsling and then after that Lundell would have a shot Shesterk and lets up a dangerous rebound but Tarasenko is not able to convert it remains one nothing Rangers go the other way Keandre Miller gets a nice shot on Bob he makes a nice save and then Bobrovsky just, yeah, looks steady. Makes a couple nice saves here to keep it a one goal lead. And Lusto, this was a great bat check by him. Wanted to point that out. I think he's had a very solid game. And then Fox, while not producing, good block shot here. And then Goudreau getting involved in blocking shots. And Shesterkin would eventually freeze the puck. This is kind of a replay of the first period. Rodriguez shot, Kachuk tip. Good save there by Shesty. And Bob would make a good stop from distance. Now we're midway through the second and Florida just keeps throwing it at him. Igor would make a great kick save here. And then the Panthers just had a tremendous cycle. They were all over the Rangers late in this period. The Rangers would go the other way and this was a miscommunication. Wenberg gets a poke. Good save there by Bob. But the Panthers, they keep putting on pressure. This was a great feed from Bennett up to Kachuk. Good save there by Igor. Kachuk felt like he was interfered with. Regardless, that was a great save by Shesterkin, and the Rangers got caught sleeping. That could have put the Panthers up to nothing. Kreider would have a good chance the other way, but he misses wide. And then a funky bounce off the backboards. Just hops over the stick of Sabinajad, and that's pretty much how this whole series has been going for him. And then you see tempers flare at the end of the period. The Panthers remain having a 1-0 lead. Like Steve Levy said in the intermission, it feels like it's 5-0. So we go into the third period, and Shesterkin, tested early, would make a couple nice saves. Right here was an amazing defensive play by Forsling. Diving effort. You gotta love that. Shesterkin would make a great save on Tarasenko. Look at him extend his flexibility, using his right leg to push off. Fantastic. And Tarasenko, who has been struggling to score, is not able to get on the board. Shortly after that, Bobrovsky would make a couple good stops on Panarin. Blocker save and then a very good glove one. And Brandon Montour with a huge hit here, setting the tone. 
And then the linesman would get a puck to the nuts. Yeah, take a breather there, bud. That's uh, fun for nobody. Shosturkin makes a nice save here on Barkov. And this Lundell block shot would eventually lead to a Tarasenko goal. This was a beautiful feed by Lundell over to Tarasenko. He gets off the schneid. The Panthers are up to nothing. Now, Bob would have a dangerous puck handling situation here. Puck is shot wide, nothing comes of it. And then Shesterkin a few minutes later would lay a body check on Rodriguez. He just seemed very ticked off and I could understand he's carrying this Rangers team and they're not producing. Adam Fox would have a good defensive stick here to negate an offensive opportunity for the Panthers. Bob with a stop, Tarasenko with the block, and then Shesterkin would get pulled with a little bit over two minutes left in the third period. And we had a Panarin sighting. What an absolute snipe right by the ear of Bobrovsky. This game is now 2-1 and it seemed like maybe the Rangers could tie this up. Bob kind of fights off this save but ultimately Mikula would run out the clock. The Panthers win this game 2-1. So the Florida Panthers are going back to the Stanley Cup Finals. It's impressive. I said this last year when they made this deep run. They have all the tools, all the players to go back and make a deep run. Now did I claim they were going to make the Stanley Cup Final in back-to-back -back years? No, because that's very hard to do, but the Florida Panthers keep proving to everybody they are a legitimate team, they're one of the best in the NHL, maybe this will finally give them some of the respect they deserve, because I understand some of the jokes about the fan base, which is not true because Panthers do have a very passionate fan base, maybe people will start to realize around the NHL how good indeed this team is. It is not just luck, you do not go back to back Stanley Cup final appearances being lucky. This team is legit. As for the New York Rangers, it's not the ending you want. They had a successful season. They went to the Eastern Conference Finals, but it seems very similar to older Ranger teams where Henrik Lundqvist would carry his team to the distance. Even back when Lundqvist carried them to a Stanley Cup final appearance against the LA Kings, they just don't do enough for their goaltender. Kind of some shades of that. While Zabinijad, Kreider, and Panarin showed something in the last two games, it's just not enough. They're your leaders. They're your star players. And not to knock Panarin, he's got to be far better. If he wants to take the Rangers to the next level, he's got to be great in these moments. And he just wasn't. And it just wasted a terrific performance by Igor Shesterkin. But congratulations to the Florida Panthers, a truly terrific team up and down the lineup. We'll be watching to see who they face off in the Stanley Cup final. Will it be the Edmonton Oilers? Will it be the Dallas Stars? I'm excited to see the matchup. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Who impressed you the most in this game? Got the ball. See you in the next one.